I'm St. Brian in Fruitland, Washington, with the story of two brothers, a generous dad, and the wildest dream of them all. Rock and roll started. This is the story of two small town brothers with the wildest dream of them all, rock and roll stardom, and of a father who did everything he could to make that dream come true. Don wanted the uh, Elvis look with high collars. Before you judge this story by its cover. Probably. Gotta admit it. Yeah, okay, yeah, it was me. Give a listen. <laughs> to a rock and roll dream born in the farmlands of eastern Washington. I'm dreaming, basically, of thousands of people hearing what we were creating. My mind was like open to all kinds of things. We wanted to have success with the, the music. We wanted that music to propel our careers. I'm out here in Fruitland, Washington, where two young musicians, Don and Joe Emerson, are trying to make it to the top. But before that, it's a lot of hard work to do. Spokane's PM Magazine visited the Emerson Farm in 1980 to do a story about the rock and roll farmers and their self-made album, Dreaming Wild. That's my dream. I want to make it. I want to make it real bad. Sure, the boys had talent, but they had something else going for them, a father who believed. I could see uh, their talent. And I said, well, what do you want to do? I said, if you want to milk cows or something, that's the only thing you can make any money out today. He said, we don't want to milk cows. Well, what are we going to do? I said, uh, we want to play music. Okay, I said. Don Sr. built his sons a 16-track recording studio in the woods. Oh, gosh, Joe, I see us right now playing together in here. He also bought his boys the best instruments. In all, a $100,000 investment. And this was the 1970s. He's been sporting us, you know. He's been putting his money out for us, you know. And uh, someday it'll pay off, and, and we'll be, you know, providing for him. Don Sr. wasn't done. Taking out a second mortgage to cover costs, he converted the dairy barn into a concert venue. Yeah, there's just a lot, lot of memories in here, uh, isn't there, Joe? Lots of memories in here, yeah. It, it's a vision my dad saw that, that would be cool for all of us to enjoy together and share with other people. I don't think a lot of parents would go to the lengths that you went through to support a, your kids' dreams. Oh, no, I don't think they would either, because I think personally, I thought they probably thought I was crazy, honestly. Donnie and Joe practically lived in the studio. But when the album came out in 1979, not even the brothers' classmates bought copies. Don Sr. doesn't like to talk about how much money he lost on the dream. We done all right. We just didn't have our marketing and their strategy figured out. Yeah, it's nice out here, Don. It is it's nice. You out here. But the Emerson Farm, once 1,600 acres of fields and timber stretching far off into the distance. Remember when you used to drive the tractor out there, Don? Oh, yeah. I see a lot of stuff in my mind. Is now just 65 acres. It's just the way life goes. To say I don't miss the farm, I don't miss losing it, that would be lying to you. Because it was a gift to be on this farm. In most cases, this is where the story would end. A cautionary tale about reality's way of crushing a million dreams for every one it rewards. Except this story has a second act. I wished I looked like that. <laughs> I wished I looked like that. What are you talking about? <laughs> and it's all thanks to that album cover. And how about the backside? I look even cornier there. In 2008, an amused record collector bought the album on a whim in a Spokane antique shop. Word spread on the internet. Within years, Dreaming Wild had become a cult classic. When I listen to the songs now, and I, 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 get, a, I get a sense of uh, amazement. I think I was just definitely a conduit, in a sense. 
because I never really worked at it. They just kind of came to me. I mean, songs just came like it was nothing. Songs that are getting a second chance. Dreaming Wild has been re-released for worldwide distribution by Light in the Attic Records. I just hope the record is well received all over. I really do. For the, for the whole family. For the whole family. Benefit. The brothers are living that wild dream all over again. Well, you've kept yours really nice. There, behind the scenes, Don Sr. and the boy's mom, Selena, are dreaming right along. You can have all the money you want, but if you don't help them out, it's all in vain. You, you have nothing to pass on. Do you have any uh, regrets about, about any of this? None whatsoever. I would do it again. It's, it's been a lovely life. It has. Crazy stuff.